Hey there viewers, before we get into my damaged print head on my SV08 and my experience with the Sobol tech support, I want to show you something. Viewer Benjamin Funk 1844, or for the English speakers Benjamin Funk 1844, mentioned that he used the original spool holder without bearings. So I did try that. And you can certainly do that if you have issues with unwindy, tangling filament. However, after using it without bearings for a while, I ran into the following issue. Yeah, see these lines here? They get actually worse. Recently, I used mostly cardboard spools. And this is where they ran on. It's quite narrow cardboard spools, which give me a lot of grief for other reasons, but yeah, they left quite the grooves in this tube because without the bearings, it essentially is just static. It spins a little bit and then it basically gets stuck and the cardboard really digs into this plastic. So yeah, it is a way of doing it, but I don't know if it is fantastic. Everyone can decide that for themselves. Now back to this extruder issue and what Sovol's solution was. If you haven't seen the short video that says my printer is dead, you can watch it up there. I'm gonna read you the email which I sent to Sovol after I encountered my stuck extruder motor in the first place. Hi Sovol team, I just experienced an issue with my SV08 I purchased from Amazon.ca. The extruder motor seems to have developed a dead spot. It starts vibrating mid-print or doing filament loading or any other extruder-related activity. If spun manually, it will extrude for a while but then stop again and it gets stuck and vibrates. How can I obtain a new motor? The extruder in and of itself is fine. I just checked that because I thought something might have gotten stuck within the gears. But the gears are clean and properly lubricated. I attached the video as well as the Amazon receipt. Best regards, Dominic. So the next day I got the first reply from Sovol, which is as followed. Good day to you. This is Sovol 3D Printers after sales service team. We are sorry for your inconvenience it caused, but please do not worry, we must work hard to help you. Please resend the video and invoice again as we cannot download them. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Have a nice day, Sovol. So I made a shortened version of the video I sent them so I could attach it immediately to the email without having to go through a Google Drive link where they have to download it. After that, I got another reply from Sovol. Our technical engineers provide these solutions to you after they analyze it. Please refer to the wiki tutorial for troubleshooting and please let us know the results. Unable to extrude the filament and then they give me the link. I'm going to put the same link in the description below. It makes our technical engineers easy to know the problem and help you. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Have a nice day, Sovo. Well, that's not exactly what I asked, didn't I? I didn't ask, show me how the extruder is dismantled because I mentioned in my first email, I've already checked all that. I wanted to know where I can buy the extruder motor because here in Canada, I cannot really buy a printhead. I mean, you can. You can get it on AliExpress and on AliExpress. That's essentially your only option. They do not sell them on Amazon, where I purchased the printer. And you cannot get it from the official Sovol website because they only ship within the US or from China to the UK, but they do not ship from the US to Canada. I dug a little bit deeper and I went to the GitHub page of Sovo and they have all the technical specs for most of the parts or even all the parts of the printer on there. And you can actually find the manufacturer of that particular motor and I might in future buy one. But at this very moment, I don't have the need for it because my printer works again and I have not the slightest idea what I did, none. So since Sovol sent me this link where all those nice pictures of the extruder are in, I will use those to explain what I did. I would recommend taking the printhead off the printer entirely because you have to remove all the wiring, the heatsink, the nozzle, um, 
the control boards in the front and that tension screw on that arm on the right hand side there which brings you to this point where you can also inspect the infamous extruder pin that gets loose in some cases in my case that was already um, secured with i believe it was hot glue i don't know if that's the best solution but that's what it was and then you need to remove that screw in the upper right corner in order to remove the printer motor i mean the extruder motor and then you're presented with your extruder head on one side and your extruder motor on the other side and on the extruder head you see these three planetary gears that are hopefully not as damaged as they are in this picture provided by sovol these planetary gears will fall off if you're not careful keep that in mind if you ever have to do that so yeah after all that i put the extruder back together put it on the printer and checked again and it was stuck again which resulted in the short video i uploaded earlier and after the email from sovol i was like okay i'm pretty much on my own anyways so might as well take it apart again and see if i messed something up the only thing i noticed is that the motor in the back has two little protrusions that need to be seated in the back plate of the print head. However, they don't line up properly. They are ever so slightly out of alignment. You can just put a screw in and then just suck the motor in and that plastic plate will then deform itself a bit and the motor, it looks like it sits right. But I have the feeling that it might be just ever so slightly cockeyed. Because after spinning the motor around and wiggling and pushing a little bit here and a little bit there and trying and playing around with the front of the extruder, all of a sudden the motor slotted in without any restriction. So I tightened it, all of a sudden my printer works again. And it almost works better, not almost, it actually works better than before. I have the suspicion that this motor was never seated properly in the first place. I can't prove it, but it seems that way. And that's exactly the reason why I don't dare taking my extruder apart live on camera, because I'm afraid that I will never get it back into the stage it is in right now. So fingers crossed it stays that way. And I was actually able to print a lot of large parts for my next project, which I'm going to show you in another video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.